Well, thank you for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you because we believe in the power of prayer because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears our prayers and who answers them in his own timing because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. Amen? Amen. And also, we share the good news of Jesus Christ, which truly offers you salvation if you believe by faith alone and, ex and accept him as your Lord and Savior and, and offers you the best gift of all, which is eternal life with him. Amen? Amen. Well, friends, thank you for tuning into this video. Today, we're going to be talking about us being impatient. What a good topic. Amen? Amen. Well, today, if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to open them up and follow along. We're going to be in one verse of the Bible today, Exodus 14.14. 14. So without further ado, let's open it up to the living Word of God. Amen. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. How many of you deal with impatience? I can make a whole video talking about impatience, friends. We all deal with impatience, right? We deal with impatience sitting in the car when, when, when there's traffic, when there's a long line in the grocery store, when we're waiting at, a music, in a music, in a, at, an, at an amusement park in a long line, when we're waiting on the money from our paycheck to pay our bills. When we're waiting on the new song to come out from our friend or from our favorite artist. When we're waiting, when we're waiting on our favorite food at a restaurant. When we're waiting for the new movie that we love to come out. When we're waiting to buy what we want to buy for the new phone to come out, for the latest software update to come out on our phone, iOS update for you iPhone users as well as me when we're waiting for to hear back on our promotion when we're waiting for encouragement those are all examples of how we can become impatient when we're waiting and the answer still hasn't come brothers and sisters can I encourage us to stop being so impatient to be still God talks about it in Isaiah. He talks about us being still before him. I am guilty of this as well. But friends, when we are still, God moves. Because what did he say? He said in 14, the Lord, God, the Lord, Jesus, will fight for you. He only tells us one thing, you need only he didn't say you need to, you need only to be still. He gives us that, that commandment. He didn't say, oh, be impatient. He said, no, don't be impatient. Who will fight? God will fight for you. The battle is the Lord's. Can we give it up to the Lord? Like he has talked, like he tells us to over and over. Can we give it up to him, friends, brothers and sisters? That's my prayer, that we can give it up to him. And we can... Let the Lord fight for us on our behalf. And then we will be still before him and quit always being so impatient. That's my prayer for you all. I, I'm guilty of this as well. But I'm going to continue to encourage you guys in this area. Because God wants us to give the battle over to him. Amen? Amen. Friends, if you've never came to God before, this topic might be pretty hard for you to understand. You might be like saying, wait, fighting for me? Impatience? Like, wait, wait, Shane, you don't have any way to tell. Well, we're going to get you on the right track to, for this topic to become easier for you to understand. And here's what you do. You pray a simple prayer of faith like this by believing in your heart that Jesus Christ did this for you. Here's what you Repeat after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Please come into my life, Lord. I'm done doing this life without you. I need you, Lord. You are the only thing I need, Lord. And I accept you as my Savior. Amen. My well, friends, if you just prayed that prayer today for the first time, or we prayed that prayer in honor of the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you into the family of God for the first time. I welcome you back into the family of God. Because Scripture says, when one walks into the family of God, one walks back, and heaven rejoices, and I rejoice 
along with you. Because as friends, truly the most important decision that you could ever make with your life. And the world will tell you different, but I'll tell you the truth. This is the most important decision. Um, so, yeah, I rejoice with you. And I have been praying for this moment because, as I just said, this is the most important decision. Well, friends, um, if you just made this decision today for the first time, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources on the next steps to take with, uh, that you made today and this important decision. We're not going to mock you. We're not going to press you. We just want to walk, walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this, decision, on this decision that you made today and what it looks like. And also, we just want to be praying for you because as our mission says, we believe in the power of prayer and God says to be praying for people and we want to be praying for you in this, in this journey that you just started today. Well, friends, brothers and sisters, are you guys ready to receive the blessing that Jesus Christ himself promises to you? Then when you put your hands up to receive it, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that with Jesus, all things are possible because he fights for you. Amen, friends. Amen. If you were encouraged by this video and feel like someone else needs to be encouraged, I encourage you to click that share button and share it with someone. Because we've got to get the word out there and share the hope of the gospel of people before it's too late. Amen? Amen. Uh -oh. Well, friends, if you need to talk or just need prayer, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone. Because we want to be praying for you. And we are here to talk, friends. I'm here. Friends, keep Christ number one as always. And I'll see you guys again in the, in the next video. God bless you all. Have a great day. Peace.